How do you see AI transforming the landscape of rare disease treatment in general? Because you're doing that with generics and you're doing that with diseases that are well known, but maybe a lot left to be desired. Yeah, when we think about all drugs, all diseases, of course, every disease, every rare disease is included within our platform and our approach. And at the same time, we recognize that it's unlikely that for a lot of diseases that there's a drug that already exists that could be repurposed for that rare disease or that common disease. So for a given disease, you know, whether it's Castleman's or you name it, there's a low likelihood that there's, or there's some, but, you know, likely low likelihood that there's some drug that already exists. But when you look across everything, you're likely to find things shoots through the roof and there's high likelihood you're going to find opportunities. But what that means is for any given rare disease, there may or may not be a repurposed drug that's just waiting to help you. I personally have the mindset that if it's there, we have a moral obligation to find it and that we have a moral obligation as a society to find all these opportunities because I don't think someone should suffer if there's a treatment that's a local pharmacy, period. And also we have to keep that sort of understanding and open mind that like there actually might not be something the pharmacy for your given disease but the more that we can get through, the more of these repurposing opportunities we can go one by one through across these diseases, the more likely that we're going to get to that disease that affects you. Mm-hmm.